Side by sides, always spectacular on the high speed roads here at Scouts Rally SA. Third place, well under Ian Hughes and David Piper. Mate, big weekend. Just got picked by a couple of quick guys today, didn't you? I did, I did. Look, Nathan had a bit of drama, which was good because the... He was flying. I've got nothing else to say. He's absolutely on fire. We could not get near him. You know, we were pushing as absolutely as hard as we could, if not harder, and we just couldn't get near him. So good on him. He did really well. That's what that's about, isn't it, David? The saying that you guys have got great speed as well. So everyone in this series is driving the wheels off these things. They're amazing to watch. They are. They are. We, as Ian said, we're pushing as hard as we could. We couldn't find any time anywhere. No, Hands down to Nathan, he just drove like a champ. Like he'd done really well to to, to pull them times in them stages. Yeah, he was doing good. But don't underestimate what you guys, I've said it all year, your times compared to particularly you know, Guesty and Crocker who have championships galore, um, are you amazed at the pace that you guys are showing and you're learning that pace notes and you're getting quicker and quicker each time? You could be knocking on the door soon. Yeah, look, I mean, you don't realise it until you go back through when I first started four years ago and on a 20k stage I'd be nearly a minute behind Cody. Really? And then now you sort of look at it now and you can get within four seconds, two seconds, sometimes beating him if you're lucky on big stages like that. And we have come a long way and you learn to use your pace notes and that. It's, yeah, it's been good. It's good to see the improvements. Nathan Shivers and Adam Tillett, congratulations. Second for the weekend, but, mate, that heat win yesterday was awesome. You drove sensational. Everyone's been saying it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I had a really good day yesterday. The car felt great. Um, Adam's notes were awesome. He's got the local knowledge, so that helps. And, um, yeah, the, the team didn't have to barely touch the car, and it was just all going well. So it was good to get Cody and get Ian and get Guesty on a few stages and, and get a heat win. Yeah, it was great. And I can't lose sight of the fact that you guys are on a privateer budget competing against a couple of works cars, you know, Guesty and Crocker. Uh, pretty amazing what you and, and even Husey does, isn't it? Yeah, it was pretty interesting. You see the, those guys putting fresh sets of rubber on and we're looking at ours going, I think we might swap them around the other way. We'll get, a good, get as much use out of them as possible. And then today, you know, a bit of, a bit of teamwork. Uh, Guesty gave us a set of tyres, some second-hand ones, but hey, they were better than what we had. So, yeah, we were able to push on today. And, yeah, to get a couple of stage wins today as well was, uh, was pretty impressive. We are pretty happy. Mate, it seems like a real step up this weekend. You know, you have some troubles on certain rallies and things, but this round just went, to, uh, went great. But your driving and the combination here is, is sensational. It's really working well to finish the season off. It is, yeah, really. It's a good note to finish the season, that's right. The cars, we knew it had the potential, we just had to iron a few things out and it was just good to get a bit of confidence, confidence behind the wheel and um, big thanks to Anglemore for their support in Can-Am. It's, um, it's an awesome car and I just want to do some more rallies now. It's great. <laughs> and as if we haven't heard this before, winners of the rally, winners of the season. I can't remember how many tiles it's been now, how many rounds, but congratulations to Cody Crocker and Greg Folletta in the Palace. You've done it again, well done boys. Yeah, Greg will count that up for you actually, we'll <laughs> yeah, give you the stats the in a minute. Stats. Yeah, no, I'm pretty happy about that. It's been a big season. We were sort of, I guess, almost the under dogs to start the season and we've come through so we're we're more than wrapped you know that's beaten our expectations for this year so awesome hey greg we lose sight of that a little bit you've won the championships and Polaris seem to be dominating but can have come out with their maverick and it's been mint all year just reliability but they've had you on your toes you've had to play this really really hard yeah we thought the battle was going to be with guesty but then what happens this weekend nathan's taking time off us on on almost every stage so i think he's probably won more stages than anyone this weekend so uh, it's got some speed <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> And we tell them, you know, himself and Ian about the fact that, you know, yourself and Guesty, rally experience, pace experience, titles under your belt, can't lose sight of what they guys do. Tell me what it's like to have won ARC, Asia Pacific, and now these guys, you're driving them every bit as committed as you would a rally car. Absolutely, it's the same thing, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's got 120 horsepower or 250, it's the same thing, you're committed, they're so equal, obviously, you can see... I think we finished 3.4 seconds behind Nathan yesterday. I don't know whether I could find another 3.0 seconds in there. You know, we were really pushing on. It wasn't 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 letting off at all. And yeah, that's that's how much commitment we've got to make here. And we are pushing into those crests and things. There's, you know, I remember some notes now. I'm just thinking through, and you think there's that crest six right. I, I don't think I could have gone any quicker. You know, we were really committed in just about everywhere. So full on, full attack. Well, if you guys say it, we know it's true. Well, uh, Crocker and Falletta, they've done it again. Woo! Woo! Yeah!